My name is Dale Crookshank. I'm a planetary scientist and I work on the New Horizons team trying to interpret the spectra and the other data that we get back from Pluto and its satellites to figure out what they're made of. In the late 60s and early 70s, it became pretty clear that the outer solar system was the, the frontier to explore. Uh, spacecraft had already gone to Venus and Mars a few times and certainly to the moon, but we hadn't really gotten a good look at the outer solar system. So as telescopes got bigger and sensors got more refined and sensitive, it became possible to look at small, faint objects far, far, far from the Earth and the Sun. You have to remember that in 1976, we knew almost nothing about Pluto. We knew its name, we knew where it was located, and we knew that it spins on its axis. But that was about the end of it. We didn't know how big it was, we didn't know what it was made of, anything about an atmosphere or any satellites. So we came up with a way to figure out, at least in a rough way, what its surface was made of. We found that it has a large exposure of frozen methane, which is just natural gas. And using that information, we were able to infer that Pluto was really quite a lot smaller than had originally been thought. Our best guess is that Pluto will look a lot like Neptune's large satellite, Triton, which has a similar size, a similar composition, and is covered by large flows of ice and material that may have at one time been liquid. We expect to find differences, and we always expect to be surprised because every time we've gone to a new place in the solar system, we have found things that were totally unexpected, uh, totally amazing, and enormously challenging to understand. I had the extraordinary good fortune of working with and studying under a very famous astronomer, uh, Gerard Kuiper. Kuiper also had speculated that there must be a zone out beyond Pluto where a number of undetected icy objects existed and in fact that many of the comets that come into the inner part of the solar system originated in this belt which now bears his name the Kuiper belt. That material frozen in these little bodies is really very original material from which the solar system formed and which has been held there in cold storage for four and a half billion years. But we have the technology now and the understanding to go into the Kuiper Belt itself. My name is Dale Crookshank and I am a Plutophile because I find that that part of the solar system inhabited by Pluto and its friends is one of the most exciting and interesting frontiers in modern science. <laughs>